Hey everyone, welcome to Careers Out There. I'm your host, Mark Luber, and we're helping you find a career that fits you. Today we're looking at sports careers, and we're going to learn specifically about being a football coach. Our guest is Mike Rutenberg, an assistant football coach at New Mexico State University. Mike, welcome to Careers Out There. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about what it means to be an assistant football coach. Well, as an assistant football coach, I'm responsible for coaching a position and recruiting an area as well as my position. I coach the defensive backs for New Mexico State, like Mark said. And I'm fully responsible for making sure they produce on and off the field, uh, on the field, doing their job as defensive backs, and off the field, getting their degree and you know doing a good job in society and academically. And then with recruiting, I'm responsible for recruiting the L.A. area, uh, San Fernando and San Gabriel Valley, and I also recruit defensive backs across the country. Excellent. So then tell us, if someone's out there considering going down this path, what are the top things that people need to know? Give us just the top bullet points and what someone should know. All right. Uh, the first thing you need to know is it takes a lot of time to uh, achieve your career goals. So you got to have a work ethic. you got to be patient. you got to have a plan. Um, you got to be willing to make a lot of sacrifices, uh, both with your time, where you live, how much money you make. Um, but if you work hard and if you got a plan, along with a couple connections along the way and, and some luck, you'll be all right. What about some top points as far as uh, personality types that are might maybe the right fit or skills that someone's got to have? And uh, that, go go with that kind of thing. Run with that for a second. All right. I mean, I think number one is work ethic. Um, there's no job you can do in the world without work ethic, but this job requires a little extra work because of the time commitment required. Uh, you have to be a people person. You've got to be able to communicate with all different types of people from all different places, uh, whether they're from the city or the country, whether they're from the north or the south, whether you're talking to your head coach or in the NFL you're talking to an owner or your athletic director. Um, You've got to have great communication skills. You've got to be organized. You've got to be organized for practice, for meetings, for recruiting. You've got to have a plan for the kids on the field. You've got to have a plan for the kids off the field. And like I said, the one that always sticks out to me is you really got to be willing to sacrifice. That's important. And so you'd say it's something out there that if someone's got those skills and that hunger, they can go for it. Yeah, absolutely. I encourage it. I think it's a great field. I get a lot of gratification every day being a football coach. That's awesome. All right, you guys, so we're going to learn a lot more from Mike about being a football coach. If you're interested in learning more, come check out the full version of this interview at careersoutthere.com. Mike, thanks again for joining us. You got it. All right, everyone, I'm Mark Luber. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you at the site.